Hi, today I'd like to show you how you can import a WMS link into uh, Google Earth. Uh, WMS stands for Web Map Service. Basically, what you can do with the WMS, you can import uh, data from uh, the website, from the, the web server of a data provider by connecting its web server through the WMS link. You can also do that for feature layers, and that's called the WFS link. So that's quite simple, that's quite straightforward and very useful. Let's say that uh, you want to import some uh, road network uh, raster image, WMS link, uh, for uh, Vancouver. This is Vancouver in uh, Canada. And you want to overlay uh, a WMS uh, a raster image of the road network. What you can do is that uh, you can go uh, on the website uh, of a, a data provider, that's the res uh, Natural Resources Canada website. And you can then just uh, pick up there, just copy the WMS link, which looks like a, a website uh, address. And then you go uh, to Google Earth. So let's say that uh, you have just opened Google Earth. So before importing the WMS link, you have to zoom uh, over the uh, area of interest. So we want to go to uh, Vancouver. Okay, and you want to import your WMS, your uh, road network uh, map uh, for Vancouver. What you got to do is to just to click on Add, Image Overlay, Refresh click on WMS parameters. There you click on add and you input your WMS link and you click on OK and there you go you've got all the layers coming up uh, in this box. So you can import all the layers that you want and display them on, on Google Earth. So we're just gonna uh, show an example uh, with the, the road network as we said. So we click on the road network, we add it Onto the into the selected layers box, click on apply, OK. And you see in the background uh, your road network uh, image overlay uh, over the streets of uh, Vancouver. OK, so when you zoom in and zoom out, you have to leave some time for uh, the image to load. So you can zoom in and uh, you've got a nice uh, overlay of uh, the streets, the road network of uh, Vancouver. And you've got this for the whole of Canada, not only Vancouver. Let's move to another part of Canada. Let's move to uh, maybe the eastern part. Let's go to uh, Montreal. Okay. And there you go, you see the road network coming up again. Okay. So you can also do that with the WWFS link. Uh, so you can import vector layer onto uh, your GIS, for example, if you're dealing with a, uh, with a ArcMap or QGIS or another GIS. That's quite useful and easy to do and straightforward. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this little presentation. If you meet any problem doing it, just give me a shot and I'll be, I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.